Hmm, I wonder what this sign means. Snake crossing. What possible harm could a snake? Ooh. Well, this isn't good. It's a priceless, delicate Fabergé egg. It's a complete array of vacuum cleaner attachments. Hmm. It's the fearsome head of that pirate-eating snake. Eh, uh, maple. It's the remains of a member of the Plunder Island Naturalist Society. Those guys sure are dedicated. It's a big steaming cup of joe. Two eggs over easy. Ugh, thick fatty sausage patties. It's a stack of big fluffy pancakes. It's got a tread that just grips the road and won't let go. It's a reservation slip for Blondebeard's chicken. He's wearing a little shirt that says, I whooped it up at Big Whoop. I hate to think what would happen if these fell into the wrong hands. It's volume C and it's mostly digested. I can only make out page 243. A compass is a magnetized bit of metal floating in a solution. What a completely random piece of trivia. The Plunder Island Yellow Pages. It's a complete array of vacuum cleaner attachments. It makes syrup of Ipecac. That seems logical. Sure was a close one. I thought for sure when I got eaten by that snake that I was done for. Thank goodness I'm safe. No? Hey! Hang on, the quicksand is sucking all the cool stuff I found in that snake from my pants. Now there's an odd sensation. Quicksand pit. Quicksand pits of this type are common throughout Plunder Island's nature trails. Many an unwary traveler has found himself trapped and unable to escape. Uh-oh, someone, anyone, please, please help me, I'm sinking? Papa Pichu Bush. Discovered by Plunder Island's indigenous peoples, this bush is named after a native word meaning youch. Of all the places for a quicksand... They're very festive. This paperweight feels heavy. Nah. <sighs> Perfect. For once today, things are going... Well, darn. Hey! Thank goodness for those unpredictable Caribbean trade winds. It's a bunch of conveniently placed hollow reeds. Ah, Papa Pichu! Well, I got the thorn. I hope that was worth it. I've got nothing to say. Neat, a world-class pea shooter. It's a nice boat, except for that enormous gaping hole in the bottom. Those must be the pirates who've taken a lane. It's the bay. Yeah. 
have a reservation? Of course I have a reservation. Then let's see your reservation slip. Very good. You may seat yourself, Mr. Uh, pardon me. Mrs. Brian Stoop. It's the owner of the shop. He's got a gold tooth. The Devil Chicken. Traditional grog. Brewed the old-fashioned way. The unsanitary way. Value meal. Two drumsticks plus super slaw. Looks like a fine deal if you like slaw. It's a pie pan. It's a round biscuit cutter. This is the greasiest, crustiest, most revolting chicken I've ever seen. Ah, yes. He got our black and Cajun style chicken. Biscuits and more. I wonder what the more is. Excuse me, but... What a lucky pirate are ye! Me? You've struck gold, boy! I have? Gold, gold, gold! <laughs> gold and nuggets of chicken! Oh. A treasure trove of deep-fried fun! <laughs> now, what can kindly old Captain Blondbeard bring ye for lunch? I'll try the wishbone sandwich with sweet gherkins. We're out of that, I'm afraid. Actually, I'm out of just about everything. Not a drumstick left. All I have left are those biscuits and a few tubs of our special Ipecac slaw. How's the Ipecac slaw? Not bad. But 15 minutes later, you'd be hungry again. Would you like to join my crew and sail the Blood Island? What? Leave me shop unguarded? Why, you treacherous tripe? You're lucky I don't take out me whisk and run you straight through. Whoa, whoa, calm down. I was just asking. Sorry. I'm as edgy as a beached whale in Nantucket. What's wrong? There be a horror that prowls the jungles of Plunder Island. A seven-foot-tall monster he be, and he has a hatred for mankind unequaled. His preternatural rage burns hotter than the coals used to roast a million of his kin. He is El Pollo Diablo, the Devil Chicken. The Devil Chicken! The Devil Chicken. He hates me most of all, and his revenge against me must be tastier than me hearty giblets and cracklins party mix. What's he done? He turned loose all me chickens. Return them to the wild, to roam the jungles free, as nature intended. Even now, I have a huge order to fill, and no chicken to fill it. But I know he's not through. Ruining me business is just the first step. Someday he'll return. For me! But mark this, I'll be ready for him. And a seven-foot chicken means me business will be thriving once more. Do you have any specials? We're out of potatoes, but we still have some eyes left. No, thanks. Do you have any other specials? There'll be a heapin' glob of lard I keep in the back for special occasions. No, thanks. Do you have any other specials? Have you tried peat moss and tree bark? Many parts be edible, you know. No, thanks. Do you have any other specials? One word for you. Hummus! No, thanks. Do you have any other specials? No more. What's the more in biscuits and more? It be me secret ingredient. It makes me biscuits come alive with flavor. To whom are you going to deliver your chicken? There lies a pirate ship in Danger Call, and the first mate of that ship fancies me chicken. But I better be delivering their chicken soon. Most likely I won't even have time to cook it. Why is that? You see, I gots me this delivery in 30 days or it's free policy. And I'd be running a bit behind. What are the pirates of Danger Cove like? They're a secretive lot, and I can't say I've seen too much of them. They seem to be what one would expect from a bunch of grog swinging pirates. As filthy and hairy a bunch of swabs as you'd ever hope to meet. 
But beware of their captain. From what I hear, he's got the disposition of a shark in need of a root canal. If he be catching you near his boat, you'll be tortured for sure. To whom are you going to deliver your chicken? To the pirates at Danger Cove. How long have you been out of chickens? Weeks, months maybe. And it's not the loss of business that hurts me the most. No? I miss the taste of me chicken. You can die in this world over, but you'll never be a connoisseur of carrion till you had a taste of me savory squab. Why, even now I got me a craving for me palate-pleasing poultry. Ah, I can taste it now. Me crispy bounty of breaded beaks. There be nothing like the hearty crunch from these pan-fried jewels. Isn't that a little hard on your teeth? Aye, but the challenge of it all be half the dining enjoyment. Now that I got the thought of that crispy chicken extremity in me head, I'll be pining for the crunch till I get me something to crack me teeth on. What do you miss most about your chicken? The crunch. It's the crunch I be missing most. Nice gold tooth you have there. Aye! It glistens like the golden topping of grease on me luscious batter fried chicken. Don't you ever like to get outside the shop? Aye! I love the outdoors, especially the beach. Why, I'm in fact a member of the Brimstone Beach Club in Smorgy. Been a member there for years. How did you become a member? I threatened to run them all through. Then I lost me membership card. Last time I remember having it, it was in me breast pocket. I believe I was in the kitchen preparing some grub. Then I had that awful sneezing fit. Oh, that was bad. No matter. I guess I'll just have him issue me a new one. Did I mention how much I admire your gold tooth? Aye, you did. It's one heck of a gold tooth, and blonde beard serves up one heck of a lunchtime value. Did I mention how much I admire your gold tooth? Aye, you did. Now stop admiring it so much. I'll let you get back to work. Aye.